So they have videos and pictures of illegal migrants, these illegal immigrants wearing T-shirts of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris for president. But they also wearing this shirt that says, Biden, please let us in. So Joe Biden was the one that gave them the green light and he made all those promises to bring all these illegal immigrants over here in mass. They come over here to destroy this country with his policies that's hurting America and taxpayers. So he's making so many taxpayers have to pay for this nonsense and it's ridiculous. You could look it up that all these migrants are wearing this t-shirt says Biden please let me in. These are illegals and they walking in there. They crossing the border to Mexico. Fox News is talking about this. People from around the world talk about this. Sky News. I think Sky News is Australian news. They act like Republicans and conservatives. And also another Republican conservative news I think is BBC. BBC is United Kingdom. So there's some news out there like United Kingdom in Australia, they had some conservative news over there. I think American news, um, one American news is conservative Republican. Um, Newsmax is another one that's a Republican conservative news. They talk about this. And Joe Biden doesn't even care about American citizens to tell them, he's trying to tell Joe Biden. Stop bringing these people over here. And they're causing trouble here. We don't we don't know them. They don't know them. And even Hispanics that's here, the Latino, the Latinos, the Hispanic people that's here, they don't want these illegal immigrants that's here. That's from those Hispanic countries. Most of them are from Venezuela and Mexico. So they really want to come here so badly. So they just want to take everything from American people. If you were in New York City, just like me, I'm in New York City. You see them illegal immigrants like Villas Raymonds. They selling candy. They selling chocolates. They selling food and snacks like cookies and chips and stuff. Right. They always on the train. And also there was on. There's in Times Square. You can see them everywhere. All over in the Bronx. Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn. I never went to Staten Island. Staten Island, I think it's only one transportation. I think it's only one bus and one train, so it's far away. So you see them everywhere. Um, Every time a train stops in certain locations, you see a woman, a legal immigrant. And they are some, they, they starting having their kids now going on train stations, giving out candy. So that's what these illegal immigrants are doing, bringing these kids everywhere to an unsafe area. And then they start carrying babies on their backs and stuff in the front. Um, the Hispanic woman who is illegal, including a Hispanic man, is illegal. So this Hispanic woman said, chocolate, chocolate. Um, they're giving chocolate to you. So. When I see that, um, chocolate, chocolate, you come over here and ask yourself, chocolate, chocolate, you're going to get these chocolates in your cocoa. That's what you're going to get. So, you want? I'll give you the chocolate. That's in Spanish, chocolate. It's going to be in your cocoa, which is cocaine. You, you, you want the cocaine, you immigrant. These immigrants want that cocaine. Chocolate. So get away from me with that chocolate. It's, it's chocolate, not chocolate. It's chocolate. I know the way you say chocolate in your language in Spanish. Chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. You keep on repeating it to people thinking that they're going to buy it. And then people nod their head saying no, they don't want it. Stop offering people. And that's why you don't have a vendor's license. 
a vendor's license that police officers want you to get. Because if you want to sell things, you need a vendor license. But without a vendor license, they will take them away from you. So the police officers doing the right thing, taking them shopping carts away from them, from them train stations like Times Square because it's illegal. You're doing it in, in the area, in the area that you don't have a license. But the worst thing you were doing that, yeah, you was doing the hot dog frankfurters. Yeah, I was selling churros too. So churros is another one. So y'all wasted money on snacks and food thinking you're going to make a profit. Thinking you're going to make a profit from any of the stuff you're selling. And nobody wants it. I don't want to eat it. I used to buy stuff from... I did bought it from one person and there's another shop, a cart right there. I don't want to buy it. I don't want, I'm full. I just bought it from one shop, a cart. I just wanted a churro. I'm not going to another person to buy another churro. So I'm not wasting money. So I already spent money on it. It's, it's like, it's like example. Um, what was that video? Times Square Hustlers. Times Square Hustlers is the, um, those Hispanic illegal people that's wearing those those illegal um no those chinese mascots like the elmos and walt disney characters elmos and cookie monsters and pikachus buzz light here rudy frozen and stuff so you have to watch out for these scams too like you want to take pictures of your favorite character like you want to choose one like, for example, I want to take a picture of Pikachu. And then there's another character jumping, like Frozen. Like, I didn't ask for Frozen to jump in the picture. And the next thing you know, yeah, the one who's holding the picture, um, the mascot, like the Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse. I don't want Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse. Too. So Minnie Mouse, the Hispanic illegal person in there, helped me take a picture with Pikachu. And then there's another character, Frozen. I didn't ask for Frozen to be in the picture. And then I was trying to get them $5 for a tip. So they saw a bunch of money I got. I'm like, oh, you got more money. Um, more money. You got extra money. Um, the, the, the Hispanic woman, I think she's from Mexico. She's from, um, she's the one who's wearing the Minnie Mouse. She saw how much money. She took my $35. Now I'm about to report to the police. I'm about to report to the police. She took my $35. I was trying to get them $15. Like five for this one. For taking helping taking the picture. And five for the Pikachu. That I really want. And five for the frozen. Even though I don't want you in the picture. I didn't ask you to win the picture. Oh, you got more than you got $35? You got $40? She's trying to take all that money. And I'm about to call the police. The police is right there. They in Times This is in Times Square. These are Times Square hustlers. We, we, there was a song. They made a song for it. Times Square hustlers. And also, if you want to dress up as a mascot stuff, you could you could make them jealous. There's a bunch of white people who are trying to experiment to wear a costume. And these Hispanic people, they they always group up together and split the money. They always split the money. Who got the most of something? They, they trying to split the money. Who wants their own money to give away? It doesn't make sense. How? It depends. Like end of the day, y'all finish taking pictures of people, and also y'all snatching children too. That's what y'all doing. Just, just in the, you know the history about mascots. They are um, prostitutes because New York City used to be, uh, um, Times Square used to be. A prostitute area like in 1970s like these females the drug addicts and now prostitutes transform into this mascots they wearing right now they're wearing these costumes and they made from china so they're not good quality i think disney and other companies they say they trying to sue these companies to make these costumes and also i'm going to take pictures of Buzz life here but another character was in it. I didn't ask for it. 
I didn't ask for another character to be in it. Look, I, I will ignore them and I will not take a picture of them ever again. If I really want to take a picture of a mascot, it needs to be, it needs to be a, like a genuine, needs to be a real. I don't want to be in the streets taking pictures with them. And also, um, people make pranks about these these um, illegal immigrants that's making money, who's wearing those mascots. And also, um, those other jobs, you see so many Hispanic men riding those e-bikes and those those scooters and those mopeds. You see them everywhere. They, they park and everywhere. And then you got illegal migrants. Everyone for various reasons. They're taking all those hotels. And I'm looking at the hotel um, reviews on Google, right? They have one star. But the ones that's given five stars is the illegal immigrants. The illegal immigrants gave it a five star. It was a, I would call, I, I know what hotel is it. Raw Hotel. Raw Hotel, R-O-W. Hotel. It's in Times Square. And they got the, they, they got the subtitles in Spanish. And they gave it a five star. But other people saying homeless people would have would have been in that hotel, not the illegal migrants. I agree. Those hotels need to be like a homeless shelter, not a migrant shelter, because they cause some problems. Because everyone's in the street, you're spending so much money in every other country. Including you spend so much money on Ukraine, you Democrats. You spend so much money on Israel, you Democrats. You spend so much money. All the countries that has nothing to do with American problems. And you don't want to fix it. This is your fault. And I'm not voting for you for that. And I'm not spending my money for that. This is the Democrats. We we had to have Donald Trump back in there. Um, Donald Trump, when he was doing it, I mean... At least he got rid of those migrants out and the immigrants out by bringing ICE. And at least he gave people jobs. Like once he deport them, a lot of black people got jobs because of Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the man that got black people their jobs. But white people don't want to get those jobs and they still open because... Illegal migrants took them. So if white people don't want it, then black people is going to take all of them jobs. If you don't want it. Because you don't want to make a good amount of money. And sometimes you don't want to move to that country or a place. I mean, I want to move to Japan. I'm going to live in Japan. I'm going to visit Asian countries, African countries. I'm going to visit um, Taiwan. I'm going to visit Hong Kong. I could visit anywhere. Um, Vietnam, Thailand, Philippines. I want to visit, but I'm going to live and stay in Japan. I want to get a passport in Japan, but they don't want to do two passports, dual passports. But what I'm going to do is get Japan's passport, and then I could get a visa from America, even though I'm born in from America in New York City. In the Bronx, in the Bronx of New York City, I will get a visa. And then I will get visas on different countries too, where I'm going to stay at and be a permanent resident. I want to be a permanent resident everywhere. And Japan is going to be my homeland. Japan, with the Japanese people, and get a girlfriend over there. And I'm a passport bro, so you women, you don't need to date a man. That you want it. You want a six feet tall one. You want a um a, a six figure. That's all y'all care about. And they need a six pack. So you limit it yourself. So me, I limited myself by getting Japanese women. I want them to be older. I want them in their thirties. Could in their early forties, but in their late twenties. So I'm born in nineteen ninety three, so I'm thirty years old. About to turn 31 in 2000, 2024 in May 30th, 1993. I'm a Gemini. I want a woman that's Gemini too. Um, that's it. That's all we got today.
I'm out. And Democrats keep losing.